Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about the Blizzard Phoenix R13 CA. Um, this is a great ski, front side carving ski, very approachable. A wide range of skiers can ski it from even like a, you know, a fairly athletic intermediate all the way up through say a less aggressive advanced expert level skier. So, a lot to like about this ski um, and pretty affordable too. You know, I like when manufacturers can pack a bunch of technology in a ski and pretty darn good performance and, and keep that price down to a minimum. I think that's commendable. Um, speaking of technology, Blizzard starts with a true blend wood core in this ski. So that's pretty new technology for Blizzard as a company. Really cool stuff just in how it works. What they do is they laminate different density wood in different portions of the ski. So in this ski we get denser wood closer to your feet, so in the underfoot portion of the ski, and then a little bit lighter and softer flexing wood as we reach the tips and tails. Um, that's kind of oversimplifying things, but that's basically the idea. And then in this ski, instead of Titanol, which we see in a lot of front side carving skis, it relies on carbon. So carbon is quite a bit lighter than titanal metal. Um, it also gives the ski, I'd say just a more energetic kind of friendlier flex pattern and one that you can achieve, you know, you can kind of get a lot of energy and snap out of the ski without going fast. Sometimes titanal skis or metal skis require somewhat of a speed limit. Um, this ski's got a 12 meter turn radius. This is the 155 centimeter length here. So add up those things, very energetic flex pattern, pretty light, relatively small turn radius. It is 76 underfoot as well. You're getting a very quick, very nimble, very responsive carving ski. Um, if your idea of a super fun day on the mountain mostly involves cruising well-groomed slopes um, and kind of working on your turns at moderate speeds, this is a really, really good choice. Um, maybe you're, like I you know, kind of mentioned, a, an athletic beginner skier. Maybe you're progressing through skiing. You're, you're working on your technique. You want to learn a true carving turn. This is a really good tool for that. Um, but I would say it has a pretty high performance ceiling too. So it's not like, it's not a noodle of a ski. You know, we've got a pretty supportive flex pattern there. So although it's approachable and not too demanding it's not punishing by any means it's something that you could buy ski for a long time and kind of kind of let the ski grow with your ability level um, you're going to kind of you're going to be hard pressed to push it past its limits um, which is cool because it's it's not going to be too demanding too challenging when you first get on it um, and you're also not going to outgrow it in in a couple seasons. You know, it's something that you can keep in your ski quiver for years and years and years to come. And even if you start skiing faster and more aggressively, you're still gonna have a super good time on it. <clears throat> um, you know, at some point you may wanna jump up to something like the Phoenix R14 Pro or the Pro Ti, whichever, whatever it's called. Um, but you know, I think for a lot of skiers, this is plenty um, and, and a really good choice. And that affordability factor, you know, keeps a little bit more money in your wallet, in your pocketbook, in your bank account, which allows you to spend a little more on boots, spend a little more on your goggles, stuff like that, kind of better your entire skiing experience without blowing your entire budget on skis. So that's it. That's the Phoenix R13 CA from Blizzard. Fantastic little carving ski. I think they did a great job with it. So let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you out there on the slopes.